Here's what I like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts with them we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beast since I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday, so be sure to subscribe. Today we are at Aldi. I love doing Aldi shop with me so I don't get to do them as much as I used to. But today I have Chris's mom watching the girls. I am here so Chris can film me and show you those good shots. Um, one of my favorite things here besides about how affordable they are, they always have really great organic produce and things like that, hopefully. Hopefully they still have everything because it's Monday. Sometimes people buy up everything on Sunday, so you don't really know. Anyway, I'm excited that we will definitely be going down the Aldi finds aisle, the best aisle ever. I have my quarter here for your cart. Don't forget your quarter. And then all of our bags as well. So let's go shopping. All right, so apparently there was like a huge latex spill in our water around the Philadelphia area. So everywhere is like out of bottled water right now. Luckily where I'm at we weren't affected yet, but anyway, don't be worried. I'm going to do like a haul at the end and show you everything that we got, but I am picking up a cauliflower pizza. I wanted to show you the rotisserie chicken because I thought that would be great for meal preps or like casseroles and things like that. These strawberries are mixed with pineapples and I just don't know how I feel about that. Like that doesn't seem like normal in any way, but I'm sure it tastes good. Um, grabbing some pomegranates and some other stuff, but I'm just going to be quiet and let you see what I pick up in the produce area so that I don't sound like one of those people at an auction. Moving on, I'm looking for some bread for the kids, and I found this bread. I'll have to let you know how it is, but the ingredients were pretty good. I do like to read the ingredients and just make sure it's not full of a bunch of junk for my kids. Um, obviously, I let them live and have fruit snacks and all that stuff, but where I can help it, I try to buy the healthiest version possible. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that, but anyway, moving on. I always love their salsa and things like that. There's a lot of really healthy and delicious options here, um, but this is what I grew up on. What about you guys? <laughs> So these are like a more affordable option compared to the Stooja juices. I love them both so much, but I feel like this area usually is changed up. You can't always rely on all that stuff to be there. But I thought this was so exciting. I love Pico de Gallo, but I found a mango Pico de Gallo and I was so excited it was the last one there. Solo. You got me thinking about a love of problems. 
I didn't buy any of these, but I thought they were really cute for your charcuterie board, your chikuchi boards. That's what somebody in my fitness group calls it. And it cracks me up every time. But anyway, um, they're really cute for Easter. And then I just wanted to show you the prices of the meats and what they had here. These chips are my jam and be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to show you the dinner meal plan for this week. This aisle just guts me because I used to come here with the boys when they were little before I had my two girls and we would just like stock up on all the little pouches and they loved those little yogurt melts and stuff and it just feels like yesterday and it's so sad that you can't get that time back and also that my youngest is two years old and then I'm done having babies so hopefully um, you know somebody I know will have a baby so I can hold them. Loaded up there girl. Beans, beans. The more you eat them, the more the you fart. <laughs> and organizing the spices. Right, moving on to my favorite part of Aldi, which is their finds. I was so excited to find a coconut K cup. I love coconut coffee, so that was very exciting. I thought this poblano chicken broth would be good for like when you're sick and you need some spice to open up your sinuses. And yeah, so here are some of the finds that I thought that you would enjoy. Coffee is life, we all know that, and they had a lot of really great things for Easter. Um, I did get a couple of things for the kids, but I'm not going to show it on this video. I'm hoping to show you like an Easter basket video. Um, we as parents, we grab them like little goodies and stuff like that. And then the Easter bunny leaves candy. So yeah, here are some Easter finds. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this, but I absolutely loved this front porch sign, the welcome and the go away. I can really like relate to that depending on where I'm at in my cycle. I actually just bought one of those sinus things on Amazon for a lot more expensive, so they were cheaper here. But I'm gonna just let you watch this and see all of the amazing things that they had. Every glimpse of you deserts me You're all I think about sometimes But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever burning up my days Never meant to fall so hard All right, let's play a little game. If you know me, what do you think came home with me from these Aldi finds? And then wait till the end to see if you're right. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one. Love of my eyes. 
This we did wind up grabbing for Evie's basket. I didn't show you guys the Easter items that we got. So um, here's just like a little overview of some ideas. I really wanted to get the kids little umbrellas for spring and like throw them in their Easter basket. I like doing like functional, fun things like that, but they didn't have the designs that I wanted. And then again, just showing you gluten-free stuff as I see it. I do usually get their half and half, but they were out. And then my Aldi shoppers know the feeling of shoving everything on to the conveyor belt as fast as you can. All right, we are home now. We found some amazing finds. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything we got. Careful, chew it good, right? I feel like we mostly got produce. I also have to do a Costco order still. So, you know, we're not completely done. I already put stuff in my Costco cart last night on Instacart, um, just because there's some things that we like to buy in bulk there. I'm gonna get strawberries from there. I'm gonna get ground turkey from there. Uh, paper towels, toilet paper, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. that stuff. Tell them. Yeah. What did we buy? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did mommy buy? Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me show you what we got. Some dairy stuff. We got some salted butter, Mexican cheese, and mozzarella cheese. Everly's repeating everything I say. This is our first time trying this, so stay tuned. I think it just stays in the fridge and it cooks pretty quickly. It's gluten-free, made out of cauliflower crust. Really? What is that? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> Chicken tenders. I'm the worst at getting the tenders out, though. It's the only annoying thing, but I like them the most for like when I'm making. I like them the most for when I'm making stir fries and things like that. Got some chicken breast. This is our first time trying this. So this is the maple smoked ham and turkey breast. Ella likes turkey in her lunches for school. We haven't tried the ham yet. Chris talked me into it. I used to love it as a kid, but as an adult, I don't really like ham. Got some bacon for this weekend. Moving on to fruit, I got papaya. I'm the only one who likes this, but I love papaya. Pineapple, cantaloupe, grapes, some lemons. Pomegranate seeds, it's a great on oatmeal and stuff, and Tanner likes them as well, just by themselves. Blackberries, raspberries. Again, I said I'm gonna get, grab like strawberries and stuff from Costco. Pink lady apples, which are our favorite. Two things of bananas, peaches. Peaches are Carter's hands down favorite. He loves some peaches. And then these little oranges, which I also love. Some more produce, we got kale. This you can use like in your stir fries or in your smoothies, cucumbers, zucchini, um, these green beans I'm gonna put with potatoes and chicken in the crock pot with some seasonings. Carrots, the kids love to snack on these. I'm going to make my spaghetti squash alfredo. Lots of ginger, this is a great find. I mean, it's not organic, so usually I get like the organic one from Whole Foods, it's like, costs the same amount as this entire bag of ginger. I was so excited to find this. I love pico de gallo, and this one has mango in it. Yes, please. Who here has tried my mango salsa? It's the best, but I wait until they're nice and ripe. Um, anyway, shredded lettuce because tacos are life. Sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Avocado. The little baby potatoes for the crock pot meal I was telling you about. All right now, pantry type items. I got some kidney beans and black beans. Salsa. Pasta sauce avocado oil, 
Sweet Baby Ray's still I haven't found a good, you know, clean barbecue sauce yet, but a lot of you told me Primal, I think. Um, I have to find that. Ketchup. I was going to say tomato ketchup, but obviously. White rice. thought the kids would love this for Easter. They still get really excited about, like, you know, the pot, different pasta shapes. And then I didn't hate the ingredients. Um, there's no, no food coloring. It's tomato, dried spinach, dried red beet, and water. That's what gives it the color. These, I love these kitchen towels. Not to, like, hang on the oven or anything. I already have stuff for that. But more like when I'm cooking and I'm drying out my fruits and things like that. Fruit snacks. Fruit snacks. <laughs> I saw her light up when I said that. These are my favorite chips from here. Applesauce. The first time trying this bread, so I'll have to let you know if it's good or not. And then this. This was an Aldi find. I'm so excited for this because it has a little like glass bowl in the center, so it's great for chips and salsa. And I just see us at the Bay House with this entertaining. I don't know. It just makes me happy. This for the coffee bar. How cute is that? It reminds me of like a cactus and I don't know. I like the wood shape and it's just really cute. And then this too because I always have a problem with the little coffee bar in the dining room. I just never know what to put on it. So I thought since there's a little curry out there, these two would be great. Plus it kind of matches the colors in the dining room. This was very, very exciting because I love coconut coffee. Um, so this is that. And then this size box of tissues fits in my little tissue holder in the gym. Really excited for this. Let's see if it actually works. But it's one of those little vacuums that you can put like on your counter. We'll see if it works. All right now let's put all this stuff away. <laughs> Ella's having way too much fun with this little handheld vacuum. All right, let's charge it again. She used it on her little table and it got up a lot of crumbs, right? <laughs> you did such a good job. Ella wants to tell you how to throw the crumbs away. So I need it on this floor. They just to toss them out? out. Wow, that is really cool. You're so cute. Well, actually, I started to prepare for this yesterday and just went through and got rid of like anything that was expired in the fridge. We're usually pretty good at that. I tried to do a quick little vacuum here and there when I'm getting new groceries and just make sure that the fridge stays pretty decent. If I could change anything about this house, it would just be that the space for the fridge was bigger so that I could have a fridge or bi a fridge or bigger, a bigger fridge. I need to go to sleep, guys, um, because this fridge fits nothing for a family of six. That's why we have like the outdoor fridge and freezer as well. Um, but obviously, it would be nice to have everything inside. Uh, this is the cafe fridge. It's so beautiful, but I just have such a hard time fitting things in there. I've tried all kinds of stuff, but anyway. Let's continue stocking. All right, let's hear it. Who keeps a stick of butter out? I know it's like very split. I feel like some people do and some people don't, but we always have a butter stick out. So now that all of our cold stuff is away, I'm just going to stock up all of the pantry items and then I'm going to uh, just like set out all the produce and things like that, wash some grapes, put some carrots away, that kind of thing.
All right, who else here feels like their grapes are always just so dirty on the outside? No matter what, organic, not organic, they're just dirty. And I wanted to show you the color of the water when I'm done cleaning it. Now for the fun part is setting up my new toys and I was also FaceTiming Chris. He was in Philly uh, taking his mom for an appointment so we were FaceTiming while he was walking around. So anyway, that's what that was in the background. But I still just feel like this coffee bar is weird and I need to like make it cuter somehow but I'm not sure how yet. Stay tuned. I'm sure you'll see it. If you let me, let me hold you tight But I don't know if you let me in, yeah. I know you had your heart broken one too many times And now it's hard for you to open up They have been cruel to you Saying things they don't mean They have been rude to you Disrespect how you feel But baby, I'll never go that far Cause I know later I realized like every cabinet and thing is open in the background sorry about that but I wanted to show you what I'm making for dinner tonight I'm making shrimp fajitas for Chris and I um, and then the kids are having chicken noodle soup because they requested that but while my shrimp is thawing right now in the sink Ella and I are gonna go play some Uno I'm gonna show you the soup really quickly and then once the kids go to bed I'm gonna do the meal plan and show you all that the chicken noodle soup I first just cooked some chicken in this pot here with garlic salt and pepper I took it out chopped it up and then I had like the little frozen bag of um, celery, onion, and carrot. And then I added a couple more fresh carrots as you can see here. Hi Ella. Um, I added a couple more fresh carrots as you can see here and some fresh celery. And then this is the jovial brown rice bow ties. I have some oil in here, I'm adding my shrimp. The soup is still simmering. I added my shrimp in here. I'm gonna add my veggies in now too, just because I don't wanna overcook all of this. Peppers, onion. Are you a lettuce on fajita type person or no? Clearly I am. I usually get like corn tortillas or something like that, but I have been loving these. These are really, really good and they're gluten free. Update, don't ever buy that fajita seasoning. It was so gross. It was all that they had at the store, so that's why I got it. But it, it was a hard dough for me. It was just like a really smoky flavor, and I hate that kind of taste. But anyway, here is my meal plan for the week. I hope that this gives you some ideas. And I'll try to put some recipe links in the description box below, just because I know 
it's nice to just change it up or have somebody think of meals for you. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you on Sunday.